Speech. It's a vital part of human development, learning, and communication. From the moment they are born, infants listen to and watch others in order to develop their own speech and language skills. But sometimes children need assistance building their communication skills. Delays in the development of speech and language are common, and early treatment is vital. Kathleen Considine, clinical coordinator for speech pathology at Akron Children's Hospital, talks about how to identify speech and language delays. A language delay occurs when the child is not reaching normal developmental milestones. And this is usually something that's identified by a pediatrician or a family practice doctor during well visits. The doctors tend to ask very pointed questions about language development in addition to gross motor and fine motor development. Like many other skills, all children develop speech and language at their own pace. So it may be normal for one child to acquire certain skills weeks or even months before another child. Even so, there are guidelines that can help you determine whether your child is developing important speech and language skills on time. There are general uh, developmental milestones for speech and language development, and there is some variability in them, and that's really based on the individual child. But if we would take a two-year-old child, for example, a two-year-old child ought to be able to do th some simple things like follow a two-step direction. Um, put together a two, three, four word phrase on a pretty consistent basis, is able to communicate and make their needs known without very much difficulty. Um, a normal three-year-old child ought to be able to follow two-step unrelated directions pretty consistently, ought to be able to uh, recite a nursery rhyme or a simple prayer without any difficulty, answer questions about that. A three-year-old child can answer simple questions like, what's your name and how old are you and what are you wearing and what you have for breakfast this morning? Um, would be able to sequence a series of information that's not related, usually about three things that are not related, and repeat that back without any difficulty. And a three-year-old is communicating in five and six word phrases is usually pretty grammatically correct with some errors. Parents should be aware of signs that might suggest a speech or language delay. These can include a child who doesn't respond to sound or vocalizing, an infant who has difficulty sucking or who needs prolonged feeding times, a child who isn't using gestures by the first birthday, a child who still prefers gestures to vocalizations after 12 months, or a child who has trouble imitating sounds after 18 months. A variety of factors can impact speech and language development. Some of the factors that can lead to a speech and language delay would be, for example, a child with a hearing loss. The child's not going to reproduce speech any better than they're able to hear it. And it doesn't mean the child has a permanent or sensory neural type hearing loss. The child who has a history of otitis media, which is ear infections with associated hearing loss, can lead to speech and language delays. Um, if the child has developmental delays in other areas of, of his development, for example, with his gross motor and fine motor development, that can be a cause for speech and language development as well. Uh, there can be emotional factors that can contribute to that, lack of appropriate stimulation, and so forth. In many cases, we don't really know the reason why, but we do know what we can do to help the child to, you know, enable him to be uh, to enable him to function the way he should for his age. If a parent suspects a speech and language delay, time is of the essence. Talk to your pediatrician or family doctor about your concerns. Your physician can help you decide whether your child's development is in the normal range or if an evaluation by a speech and language pathologist is needed. Early intervention is so important because we know that the earlier children are identified with developmental problems, particularly speech and language, the earlier therapy can ensue and the earlier we can get those problems turned around. As soon as a child is born, parents have opportunities to impact speech and language development. Parents can help children build these important skills by spending time communicating with their child through activities such as talking and signing. They can also read to their child every day, starting as early as six months. And throughout their child's development, parents can use everyday situations to reinforce language skills by naming foods in the grocery store or identifying objects when driving in a car. Parents know their children best and are often the first to recognize speech and language delays. If you suspect your child is delayed in his or her development, trust your instincts. Discuss your concerns with your pediatrician or family practice doctor.